expected. Well, I guess it got below freezing last night. I got out here with uh, icy windshields this morning. We're okay now. I cleared it. But uh, didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. No siree. Well, today is going to be uh, my last day with students in the classroom until April 14th. Unless things get significantly worse and they extend the independent study. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but I just can't get over it. Teachers and staff will still report to school for regularly scheduled hours, even without students, and we will be providing online independent study assignments. So the students will uh, be checking their email and their Google Classroom every day except for their spring break. They get 10 days for spring break. Not two weeks, not school, 10 calendar days starting this Friday. So tomorrow, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, a school day with no students, and then Friday begins spring break, and then they have the next week. But the, week, the two weeks after that are independent study. And so the problem is, for my students, well, Maybe not for my students. I should have gone in front of that truck. I didn't know he was turning. Use your turn signals, people. Good grief, that's one of my pet peeves. Use, you know, safety in traffic is all about communication. You have to know what all the other vehicles around you are doing. And if you're gonna turn, use your turn signals. Let the people know. Let the people know. Like right now, I'm hitting my turn signal just to remind the people that this is an on-ramp and traffic is merging onto the freeway. All right. So the problem that my students have is some of them don't have internet access at home. Those that do, their computer, their school computer laptop is the only computer in the house because so many people now just use their cell phones for internet access. They don't have computers, which has been a trend in America for some time now. And the thing is, with their YouTube, with their school laptops, they cannot access YouTube, which is a crying shame because I use YouTube all the time in my classroom to augment my curriculum uh, in music appreciation. I show artist videos, um, genre studies, instrument studies, um, music professors explaining things so they get a different voice than mine, that sort of thing. So if I want to, if I want my class to watch a YouTube video, I have to download it to my computer and then upload it to Google Classroom as an attachment. If I can, I haven't learned how to do that yet. So tomorrow, when I go to school with those students, I will do that as an experiment just to see if it works. We'll see. In band today, the students will be getting books and photocopies because we don't have a whole set of some uh, elementary, basic, simple jazz pieces to work up for our Spaghetti Jazz Feed fundraiser, which was supposed to be April 3rd, but has now been postponed indefinitely. So that'll give them something to do. I'm also going to be using smartmusic.com to uh, stay in touch with my band students and make sure they're practicing every day. And I told him, I said, you better take home. I mean, I better get four practice logs when you come back April 14th. 
this week, spring break, for extra credit, spring break. And then the two weeks after that, four. All right, catch you later. So this is cool. Uh, I just found out from my students and I got it confirmed at the office that tomorrow is not the first day of independent study. It's an extra, extra day for spring break. Woohoo! So I just might go to the beach and find all the restaurants closed. I don't know. So I have to go back to the uh, photocopy room and finish photocopying music for band. And I'm out on campus at passing period. And people will be upset that I'm filming on campus, maybe. So I better stop. Well, that is officially weird. I'm leaving campus for spring break. Uh, it's Wednesday. They gave them an extra day of spring break tomorrow, Thursday. Was, spring break was originally <coughs> coronavirus. Um, they're supposed to start spring break Friday, but they gave them an extra day. Isn't that great? Spring break, woo! So, 11 day spring break counting the weekends. And then the week after next, the students are not to return to school. They're on two weeks of independent study and not scheduled to return to campus until Tuesday the 14th. Now, I heard some of the kids, and this is rumor of course, it hasn't been confirmed, but some of the kids said that some of the schools back east are just closed for the rest of the semester until August. I could do that. I can work from home with my music appreciation students. In fact, it would be more efficient to do music appreciation via Google Classroom. The problem comes with band. How do I run band? You know, maybe we can meet once a week for a two hour practice. You know, practice at home, do your exercises on smart music, record yourself, submit it so I know you're rehearsing. And then we'll get together for our concert. That'd be weird. <coughs> <coughs> Coronavirus. It's got me. I'm going down. Uh -huh. Don't make light. It's serious. Okay. My youngest daughter is uh, concerned. We had quite uh, a texting conversation today. So I, I'm being careful. I'm washing my hands. This cough. I've had this cough since November. Doesn't mean it's not coronavirus, but it's probably not. I haven't had a fever. I don't have a sore throat. I don't have body aches. I don't know. I have to look up the symptoms. Anyway. So, uh, enjoy your spring break. Those of you that are watching this that are my students, this will be the last band director's log that I post for at least 11 days. And we'll see if I post them every day of independent study. Probably, just for kicks, I'll give you a little inside glimpse into my home studio, my home office situation. So stand by for that. It could be fun, could be interesting. But right now, I have 10 minutes. I'm just now getting on the freeway out of Rosemond 
and I've got to be at my chiropractor's office in 10 minutes. Okie dokie, I'll check in with you later. Be smart, be safe, be sanitary. I just enjoyed a very nice massage and now my chiropractor's coming in. So I just gonna snap, crackle and pop me. I love it. Man, I wish I could do that every week. Get a massage and see my chiropractor every week. That'd be heaven. My chiropractor said, yeah, when you win the lottery. I, said, I don't have to win the lottery. I just have to uh, get out of my school loan debt. Then I could afford to do it every week. Anyway, um, here we go. On with the show. Meaning, I'm going home.